or not a none of this six gun in this brother running this buffalo soldier look it's like i told you any damsel that's in distress episode 57 let's go we're live we're hot matt just said what's up matt just said the f word no i did not yes don't even get into that dude (laughs) yeah i don't want to get into that again don't even get into that let, let me go ahead and be on the record okay and say i'm sorry for ever saying faggot publicly Mm-hmm. In front of gay people, should not have done that. Yeah, just want that out there. All right. Yeah. Working How's your steps, day, dude? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I yeah. uh, what the hell have I been up to? Not much, man. Just waiting on a couch from the dump that hasn't come. That'd be nice. They got like a fucking. I think they have like a lemonade stand for their customer service thing. Probably. I call it just some like ancient. I was so mad my couch didn't come as so promised. So the dump on the is day. A, like a. It's a furniture. Li- it's like one of those places that's like going out of business, and it's yeah, been yeah, open yeah. for like ten years. Yeah, I thought the first time you said dump, I thought you literally went to the dump. That'd be sick. And got a used couch. You were like, "Yeah, it's sick. It's cheap too. It's like five hundred bucks." I'm like, "Dude, you got that's a pretty expensive a trash for dump. couch <laughs> for five hundred dollars." No, the dump's like a former mills of couches. I hear you. So, but like this lady, this like old southern lady answered the phone today and was like, "I don't know where it is," and I was like, "Don't worry I'm about sorry. it." I'm sorry. Yeah, she's like, "I don't know what they're doing," and I was like. Just let it go, baby. Are you calling about the food, Tom? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I yeah. Uh, felt pretty bad. Yeah, that's that's annoying. I uh this is funny. I had a, I well, did I did some shows this weekend. But actually, fuck it, I'll tell you, before I get into it, uh you know the Lucas brothers? Two black dudes. No. Uh they do stand up at the same time. They're identical twins. Okay. They have the hat that like flips up like this, both wear glasses. Oh, I know you're talking about yeah, yeah. yeah. Skinny guys. Mm-hmm. Um I was a hater, slightly. Yeah. I saw their Netflix. But I don't know. I, I assumed I knew them. Well, I automatically hate comedy duos from, until proof otherwise. Yes. All right. That's a fair Yeah, statement. it's just like, fuck that. That and the fact that I, I thought they were going to be like ultra woke fucking uh-huh. hipster fucking turds. But I needed a tape this weekend. Mm-hmm. So I went to Helium. I didn't go asking. I asked well ahead of time. And I was like, listen, I hate asking for a guest spot. Mm-hmm. It's fucking lame. But... If if there's room, yeah. I need a tape. So, and they're like, "Yeah, sure, we'll ask the we'll ask the Lucas brothers, see if ELB. we can get you on." And uh, I was like, "All right, cool." So I get there, they're like, "Yeah, of course. Do you want to do two shows?" Or like, I I went, I did well, I got off stage. They were laughing, they loved the set, they were fucking the cool LBs, as fuck. Lucas brothers. Yeah, they were awesome, nice. And then they were like, "Yeah, do you want to do tonight? Do you want to do the second show?" I was like, "Fuck yeah, do the second show." They're like, "Man, that was great. Do you want to do tomorrow? We'll do the whole weekend." I was like, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Lucas Brothers are fucking awesome. Yeah, they're sick. Great bros. Well, that'll make you also love their stand-up. I know, Someone's I know, nice I know, to me, know, I'm like, their stand-up is the best. The, I watched their show after I went, and I was like, holy fuck. Genius. I was way <laughs> off on these guys. These guys are hilarious. <laughs> I never even heard you talk about them. Yeah, no. I They just have a Netflix special. This is definitely the... Uh... This is definitely Mer- Mercury is in retrograde, dude. I know. I'm so Everything's gay. falling I'm apart so right now. I'm so gay right now. Everything's falling I'm apart. I'm doing yoga. I'm into all fucking gay alt comedy. <laughs> I got caught saying faggot. Well, I feel you bad just about said it. gay alt comedy. Their comedy isn't gay alt comedy. Their comedy is fucking sick. The Lucas Bros <laughs> you're still, are the you're fucking You're still in the shit, holes. <laughs> no, fuck that. The Lucas Bros are the shit, dude. They were sitting backstage. They were like, yeah, we fucking hate liberalism. They were talking about how it's all fucking bullshit. Really? Yeah, they were awesome. I couldn't believe it. Damn. I was so happy. Then they fucking tweeted at me. They fucking tagged me on Instagram. They were fucking... Damn, they hooked you up all across the board. They were fucking great. Fuck. Couldn't believe it. I'm telling you, man. We have... we have a. Uh, I was way off. We tag out. Our our like life contentments tag in and out. All weekend, I was miserable. Yeah. And you're, you're like the week before, you're like, I'm miserable. I'm like, I feel great. And then we just... Yeah. I think we, we tag each other in and out. I had out. a great weekend. And I'm then, saying. I had uh, a miserable weekend. Sunday, I filmed this thing with Gerby and McKeevy mm-hmm. and Okani. And that was fun. And then today, I woke up. Oh, I've been doing yoga. Yeah. I like that. Oh, God. Did we talk about... We didn't talk about that on we the last We talked one. about this. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, so I... You do it on YouTube, right? Yeah. Well, nice. you and me talked about doing hot yoga. Yeah. And then that fell through. But I was still like, I should... I should practice. I don't want to show my ass. True. I got to figure out if I can even do any <laughs> yoga. Turns out I can't. <laughs> Turns out I can't do yoga. All you got to do is lay there. If they, but, you can't do uh, anything. So I, I went to YouTube when everyone, all my roommates were gone. I made sure. Double uh-huh. checked. Double locked the front door. I was yeah. like, no one can see me do this. But uh, cleared out the living room and did. I typed in yoga, like beginner's yoga. And of course, it's just some absurdly hot chick. On the beach, yeah. doing like shit that I can't even come close to. So I was like, "All right, fuck this." So I YouTubed uh, yoga for fat guys, 
That was a wise move. I never even thought about that. Yoga for big guys. Yeah. And the, yeah, I watched that. Did it. This is the today was the third day I've done it. Damn. Feeling my fucking. You, chi, fi- you fired up your quads. My, my chi is at an all time. Well, I don't think it's your chi. No, yoga. it's not my chi. I don't know what to call it. It's your kundalini. My kundalini. Your is kundalini. Fucking, I've noticed it. I have a rock hard. Which kundalini. chakra are you working on right now? My chakra. Unlocking? I'm working on uh, <laughs> probably your root. I'd start with your root. Definitely my root, dude. I have a thick fucking long root. <laughs> you now you open your root chakra. No. You just like do uh what's that called? Kegel squeezes. You squeeze your pussy. You meditate and squeeze your pussy and it like opens up your root chakra. I'm squeezing my pussy now. Is that when you kinda of move your butt? Your butthole too? Yeah, it's like when you lift your balls and move it's like when you kinda of just kinda of contract the pelvic floor. Yeah, nice. Are we both doing it right now? <laughs> yeah, we're squeezing while making it. eye contact. <laughs> I had a miserable morning, dude. I I've been doing I always I bounce before, like between the uh like the thirty day intro things. So yeah. I spend forty bucks, I do it for thirty days and I chill. And then I wait for the place to go out of business, which it usually does. And then yeah. I sign up for the new place to do 30 days, chill. And uh, I was there today at like 6.30. I was telling you how the lady like started talking about Mercury being in retrograde. It is in like, retrograde, Matt. It, it is. No, she told me. And need, it was, it's combined be. with a super moon. So she was like, just be careful. Watch what you do. Don't make any important decisions right now. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like waiting for her to like laugh. And she's just like, all right, guys, let's start it up. And the oh. whole rest of the class, I was like... It, I like went she's down a this. Moron. She was a well, I went down this moron. spiral where I was like, "Wow, this lady really believes this," and I was like, "So do a lot of people." And I was like, "I don't think I believe in anything." I was like, "I believe in nothing," and I yeah. just started doing these poses like I'm like a fucking lizard the whole time. I was just like, <laughs> "I just have no thoughts." I'm just like a fucking animal just walks around <laughs> like. And yeah. then I crunched my nuts too. I did like a side move and crunched my nutsack, <laughs> and I was just like, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> it hurts so bad. I like literally took a break and stopped and held my stomach. It was like I almost fell down today <laughs> in the living room by myself. I almost fell over, and I was like, "Oh my god, dude, I'm pathetic." Oh, that'd be so funny <laughs> if I got knocked out on the table or something. Yeah, that'd be so funny. That's but, been my, my hang up all day today. I'm like, I have no beliefs. You have no beliefs? I have no beliefs. I'm nah, like, I don't yeah, believe in do. fucking Mercury and retrograde. I'm not particularly religious. It's like, well, I love family. It's like, I like my family. I could do without some of my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't get like awful. I don't go home and like and sit at the dinner table like, this is what it's about. Yeah, true. I'm usually kind of looking around like, oh, sick. My You're not Vin Diesel, Fast and Furious. Yeah, I'm not that into family, dude. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I was like, Family's in my head, all we got. How can we. <laughs> dude, how can we even. Forget about that. How can we that. talk about? <laughs> Forget the lyric. The how lyric? can we not talk about family? How can we not even talk about family? Family is yeah. all we got, Matt. That's literally that, that's been my oh. mental bug all day, and I just and like it's like it was funny because in the morning, I like said hi to if I my new thing now is a weird hangout. Where if I say hi to people and they don't like absolutely greet me like ecstatically, I'm mm. just kind of like, what the fuck? That's what problem? happened with and me and I, O'Connor on Sunday. Really? I walked upstairs to get in the shower. He was coming out. He didn't even say what's up. He just like stared at me and then walked into his room. So the whole time, and I just woke up, so I was grumpy. I was so mad. You were grump. I I was so grumpy for some reason. I was furious, <laughs> but I was just in the shower, just like fucking pussy didn't fucking say. Like, I was just That's so, so mad. funny. Well, I don't, I think it's really unnatural for like thirty year olds men to live together. Yeah, because there's like everyone develops their own like neuroses, and then like you should go take that by yourself and just like take it out on a woman quietly like you shouldn't sure. have men shouldn't battle like like i shouldn't be sitting there and have someone look at me weird now i'm like what the fuck's their fucking problem yeah, like, yeah. what the fuck's he fucking looking at what the hell's he doing it's like i don't think it's healthy uh i don't know that's interesting you should quietly find a girl and be like look here's a fucking told you a bunch of times no know? that's just because that's what you're doing <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah i don't i'm super chill no i know you're super chill but you stopped living with men I, so, I know, so but I'm not just saying it now. I, I believed it when I was living with men. I'm like, dude, this yeah. is like, this is weird. We're too old it for this. It is weird. But it it's not weird. bad. It makes sense to save money. But I remember being like, it's just weird to be like it's somewhere. And then like you hear someone making noise and you're like, man, I wish everyone went to bed at the same time I went to bed because I don't feel like hearing people yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I usually don't have that though. Yeah. I usually don't care. You're I mean, last man standing usually. Yeah. Night time But I also... Even if I'm not, like, even when I was working, I really didn't give a fuck. I hate it. It was just annoying to hear what people were laughing and yelling that's about. That's the thing, too, yeah. If they were actually funny at the time, I'd be like, <laughs> all right, that's funny. I'll let them go. But if they're just yelling for the sake of yelling, that's fucking annoying. Yeah. But uh, this place has worked out for me. I'm it's, not, it's I'm not, not here bad. that often. Yeah. 
I'm not trashing the dig. So no, I'm I know, saying, I know, but this this is different than like I don't want the listener to think this is like some fucking real world episode where it's like oh now you're trapped eight in a people, real world. eight people in one house <laughs> just because all you, day. That's just because you just watched that show. Now you're real. You live in the real world, dude. No, I, I'm saying like this is literally. I have a mattress in Philadelphia and I sleep on it and then leave. Where do you do your uh, confessionals? My confessionals. You come down to, here. And you're I, like I, I YouTube. So fucking today, O'Connor. <laughs> I, 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 no, I called you. Yeah. I call you for my confessionals. I'm like fucking six is gay. <laughs> fucking O'Connor's gay. Michelle lives here. He doesn't. I, I don't him. know if I've seen him yet. <laughs> yeah, that's well. It's just weird because I know like so. It's like you live together thirty, but then if there's like two forty year olds living together. It's like. Mm. What the fuck Curious. you guys do? I'm f- almost not 30. even saying no, 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 not even that. But if there was just like two obviously heterosexual forty year old men living together, I would just be like, "What the fuck are your guys' deal? Like, yeah, yeah, how yeah. do you guys do this? Unless you're European. If you're like some weirdo European, I can be like, "All right, you guys both wear fedoras and go about yeah, your yeah, day." Yeah. But it's like it's a fucking it's just weird. I'm about to uh, I'm about to bit hit the big three zero, dude. When? Like this week, next week. What? I'm about to turn 30 this weekend. I didn't know you were a December baby. Yeah, December 11th, dog. What are you doing for your birthday? I don't know. I think they're trying to fucking surprise me with some dumb shit. Oh, man. Because <laughs> Kyla was like, what are you doing for your birthday? And I was like, nothing. Yeah, obviously. I, I have no idea. And then Caitlin, a minute later, texted me and was like, what's up with your birthday? I was like, oh, so you guys are planning something. Yeah. Obviously. Right now. You sniffed it out. <laughs> it was pretty simple. Wow. But yeah. I have a show at Helium on your birthday on the night before my birthday. So at midnight, at midnight, I'll be fucking thirty years old, dude. Be be be. Ready for that? I didn't think it was a big deal. I turned thirty. Everyone's like, dude, it's like the worst. I turned thirty. It was just. I don't think it's the worst. I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's it's better than saying you're twenty nine. Twenty nine is gay. It sucks. Twenty nine fucking sucks. Twenty nine has sucked, dick. Well, it just sucks to be like I'm twenty nine. Everyone's like, all right, dude, turn thirty. Yeah, thirty. Shut up. Turn thirty so we can pass judgment on your state in the world. So you're 29, people are just like, I don't know what to make of you. 30-year-old, mm-hmm. they can just be like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, 30. Get your fucking shit together. You're 30 years old. It's going to be tough to slide into 30 with a negative bank account balance, dude. It's going to be tough sliding you're still, in. You're still, rich. you're still like one of the richest people in the world True. in terms of like world world wealth. True. You should buy a Bitcoin and just retire. I don't have uh, <laughs> any money. So I can't buy Bitcoin. My friend bought a Bitcoin. He was just telling me today he bought a Bitcoin like... I think two or three years ago, it was a thousand bucks. And then he looked it up and it was worth $10,000. And he was like, oh, hell yeah. And then he like went to call to get his Bitcoin. And they're like, uh, verify your account. And he was like, here's my info. They're like, no, you need to double verify. And they like hit him with these crazy mm-hmm. like, hit me. They're like, give us the exact date you bought your Bitcoin. He's like, I don't fucking know. And they're like, sorry, you can't get it. And then he found out that that place went out of business. And then like some other foreign company bought it. And the FBI investigated this company and shut them down because they were using the Bitcoins to fund like illicit activities in America. Yeah. So he, he just locked out of his one Bitcoin worth 10000 bucks and he can't touch it. Oh, man. <laughs> He's, he can figure that out. He's got to figure he can't, that out. It, it's literally the FBI. It's under wraps right now. The uh, FBI has blocked it. You got to call the FBI and say, I'd be fucking raising hell, man. Help me out. Oh, I'd be going Give nuts, my fucking dude. Bitcoin. I'm bothering my friend Mark, who owes me 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Notre Dame won nine games this year, dude. Give me 50 bucks, you fucking idiot. That's bullshit. They go back on he a made bet. The bet. Yeah, he made the bet, dude. Eight wins was a push. He he took dude. seven or less. I took nine or more. Notre Does he Dame have won Venmo? nine games. Yeah. Request, of he fucking request has on it. Venmo. I, I, I should do that all send time. him a request. But, dude, send a request. Fuck him. And just keep hitting a, re- hit a fucking reminder every day. I've he'll, been, he'll I've been texting him the last couple of days. Gotta, that Venmo works, man. It's just one button. You Fuck can't make a bet and go back on it, dude. No, of course not. No. Anyway, are we going to go do hot yoga or not? Yeah, we will. All right. Let me I'm get, let, tw- let me get, get 20 ready. bucks and then I'll fucking <laughs> hot yoga with you. I, dude, I would gladly pay to watch that. Fuck you. It's hot, dude. I did it the other day and I was like fucking dying. Yeah, I, I'll fucking die. I'm, yeah. There's an older lady. She's like, she has, you know, like Stephen chicks are like really hot and they have gray hair. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's her. She's a gray-haired nice. hot chick, and I it, like fell in love with her. She's the one talking about retrograde. No, she oh. just goes in there. She's no bullshit, dude. She sounds like a hot it's, bitch, ditch. dude. She's a hot. Th- she's a bitch, dude. Do, do you think she'll bitch you? I I could only wish. What I type of spells wish. do you think she would cast upon your dong? Love spell. Love spell your dick. Love spell, and then like clean up the dry skin from my like rash from two months ago. Stop talking about your dick rash. Well, dude. it's gone. It's just God. the cream was like highly irritating, and I have like some dry skin issues. You still have dick issues right now? Dry skin, yeah. So it's like got, your dick has like skin falling off of it. No, not falling off, but like it's hanging off. No, it's just like I have like a like a peeled sun sunburn. 
leathery skin. You have a leathery leather. I have like I have like two face the but my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I have like one half of it's kind of like leathery. You have Harvey Dick. <laughs> Harvey, yeah. He's well, it's like leathery, two-faced. and I'm like that'd be cool if the thing the one side is kind of bulged out and I got a little more girth, but mm. no, nah, it's just leathery. And it might itches. be that might be good for her pleasure. Little, I'm I'm ribbed. I'm ribbed for her pleasure on you one are, side. With yeah, the leather dick. I'm lib. I'm ribbed, but I have to. Uh, I gotta just keep putting cream on it, dude. Let it fucking moisturize. That's good. The lady at the urgent care told me to be a long road ahead of me. <laughs> a long road to recovery. I just watched uh, Bleed for this last night about that boxer who got in a car accident. It's pretty much you. What happened? Oh, with my dick. Yeah, you were a heavyweight champ. Got in a severe car accident. Yeah, exactly. Now you're just in the basement rehabbing. I'm just rehabbing weights, right now. Well, it's just like lotioning up your dick. The coconut oil, that's where it's coming back in handy. You think the coconut oil is now, you're using it again. Yeah, so I figured out what happened. You should not be using it. No, it's it's good for me. I need it right now. Are you sure? Positive. Who told you? I know. I'm just practicing, no, I'm dude, practicing ancient medicine. Don't fucking just bring the dick oil back. I'm, I'm ha- I have to, dude. It gets too what dry. What are you talking about? I have, to pu- I have to put it on. It's too dry. Ugh. Coconut oil has been helping. What's been helping it heal is my nofap. And I couldn't just, leave, oh, well, I that couldn't leave, I couldn't leave that thing alone, dude. Quite a bit. Well, not just that. I, I mean, but that helps. That that's is a good that motivator. is a good motivator. Every time you jerk off, if your dick burns, yes, that does help that's a little. A big that's, a little time help. that's a little help. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were some Didn't, pious motherfucker. You're out here with a wounded dick. I got a fucking bad unit, dude. I got to leave it alone. <laughs> Doctor's orders. <laughs> So like, uh, yes. The doctor was like, yes, here's a no I have RX, stop touching your bird. And it's just like, all right, fuck. That's a sick no fap. Someone sent me a message on Reddit about it. God. I swear to God, someone who listened to the cast, I don't know who it is, but shout out to them. They're oh, like, that's another one. I was walking out of, uh, I was walking out of Helium while I was walking out, dude mm-hmm. in the back row was like, yo, I'm a huge fan of the cast. Went, got him a fucking shot of whiskey, Ooh. gave it to him. I was like, dude, you're the fucking man. That's fucking awesome. Man. Were, it was really funny. I was leaving cause they have a. They have one of our stickers in the display case at Helium. Oh, nice. So people were looking at it and then coming up to me and being like, oh, do you have a podcast? This black lady came up to me and was mm-hmm. like, I loved your set. Do you have a podcast? And I was like, uh, I don't know if you're going to like it. Why? I say a lot of fucking dumb shit on this. So, uh, yeah, she might like it. I know. I hope. I mean, I told her it, but at first I was like, it's a little, it's crude. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I can handle crude. Yeah. I didn't want to come out and be like, well, I'm racist a lot in it, but I'm joking. <laughs> like, I couldn't come out and be like, well, I'm pretty racist and homophobic on it, but it's just a joke. Yeah. No, so I had to just be like, all right, check it out. Check it out, Hopefully dude. I never see her again. Check it out. Check it out there. And then my cousin at Thanksgiving, because my cousin Patrick loves it. Mm-hmm. Loves the cast. He's a good bull. He's the fucking alt-right Kekistani. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, not really. I don't know. I think he is. And... Uh, <laughs> His cousin, his older sister, was like, "Yeah, I, I don't, I don't listen to it." And I was like, "It's fine. You're not yeah. offending me." And she was like, "Yeah, I tried to listen to one, and you guys were talking about how like women love to get catcalled." And I was like, "That was probably Matt." <laughs> that's she was what, like, "She was like, no, that was you." And I was like, oh, "Well, fuck." I and was that's joking. what set her off. Yeah, well, she only tried one episode, and that was it. She couldn't handle the wolf whistling. That's what they call it in London. Yeah, wolf whistling. I feel like there's some. There's, it's a different type <laughs> of term for that, though. Oh, when you go like. <laughs> That's yeah, wolf, wolf whistling. Wolf call or wolf whistle? Wolf whistle. That's the Emmett Till. What's that? That's what Emmett Till did. Yeah. He well, wolf, they call it wolf whistling. Wolf whistled at a lady and then... He got in trouble? Got in a lot of trouble. Really? Just for wolf whistling? Yeah, he got some pretty harsh punishment. Dude, Matt Lowey's in trouble. Do you think Matt Lowey is... Do you know... Like, do you know so I, I'm going to give you Would you specifics. equate that to Emmett Till, you think? No, Matt Lowey went a little harder. Then... Oh, yeah. But... Matt, well, Matt Lauer. <laughs> all right, I'll bring up his charges. Do you know what happened to Emmett Till? What happened? No. He got uh, basically lynched. He got beat to death. And... Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting. I thought it was just some English guy who wolf whistled. No, really? Emmett Till was a young black kid. And he wolf whistled. He wolf whistled. whistled apparently. Allegedly, he, he was trying to flirt with a... I think he was from Chicago, and he was down south. Young kid moved moved down there. Wow. Like ba- Bama or Mississippi or something. And they fucking... W- wolf whistled at a white lady. And a bunch of the white lady's like husband and his yeah. boys came and just killed Were they killed male the feminists? I think they were. They were male feminists. They, they were not racist. They were just male feminists. Yeah, they, they were, were just, like, no ma- fucking cat calling down here. They were, <laughs> they were just fucking leftist ideologues. Dude. That's actually a new take on the tragedy of Emmett Till I haven't heard yet. Male feminists. Male feminists got a hold like, of... That's not fucking cool, dude. Yeah, it wasn't Do you know how hard race. it is to be a woman? Yeah. 
Damn. Interesting. I had no idea who that was. I was like, yeah, that's fucked up. I mean, you kept bringing it up, and I'm like, yeah, yeah sucks I wanted that to guy. keep saying it until you were, I, wanted, I wanted you to say something dumb about it. I was like, do you think it's worse than Matt Lauer? <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, so one more Matt, thing. I know ahead. you want to get Hit into me. Lauer, because that's me. great. Um, this is interesting, and I should have sent this to you before, but uh, my cousin sent me a, a YouTube video from like Lord Keck and those mm-hmm. guys, the fucking alt-right 4chan fucking... Yeah. Uh, and they were putting up signs on campuses, like a piece of paper that just says, it's okay to be white. I saw that, yeah, yeah. How funny is that? Yeah. And people, people were tearing them down. They are like, fucking racist pieces of I shit. I saw that, yeah. I saw it online. They're like, these fucking assholes. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, they did exactly what they wanted them to do. To freak out and make it they, go viral. Those guys wanted to put up a sign that was totally not racist. Just says, it's okay to be white. Mm-hmm. And then to have people freak out just to look like fucking dickheads. That is funny. It's pretty they, wonderful. They um they've been getting it's funny how it goes back and forth. It's like the right does something bad, the left does something bad. But recently, the left took a couple L's with that left Lindsay team. Lindsay Shepherd. What happened there? Was her name Lindsay Shepherd? That I forget. I'm probably butchering her name, but it was the TA in Canada that like she had like a secret recording of her meeting with people. She mm-hmm. just showed a video of Jordan Peterson, and she introduced it saying like, "This is just one take on the on the grammar like thing of her." Or I think it was saying like they can't be used in the singular. And that was like Jordan Peterson's thing on that. And yeah. s- since she showed that, she's like, I have no dog in this race. I just want to show you the opinions that are out there and you guys can talk about it. Some One student complained about it and they had her in saying like, you can't do that. They're kids. They can't handle videos like that. And it was nothing bad either yeah. that he said. And she recorded them and it's they sounded so ridiculous that like people got, they're like, I'm not sending my kid there. And they had a, like, people oh, wow. had to apologize. Good. Yeah, it was really funny. So they took an L there. The, right, the right's pretty consistently taking L's. True, yeah. They take I really don't. Ones. I mean, that's T- the, TD yeah. just got fucking, he stood up for fucking, who was that guy he stood up for? Moore? Roy Moore? DT. I DT. TD. Oh, like, who the fuck is T- no, DT? No, DT. He stood up. Davis? <laughs> He's back? He stood up for Roy Moore, apparently. I saw that. He, like, messaged him and was like, give him hell. I need you to fight for me in Congress. Fuck these guys. Damn. That's a hard L for the in the news. In the news, yeah. Well, and they also I, got, I, they got in trouble trying to stage, like, a sting. One of these, uh, one of those public, like, like alt right publications, try to like sting up the, <laughs> the Guardian, I think, being like Roy Moore touched me, and then they like fact checked him. Apparently, oh, good the lady, for them. and uh, they found out the lady was like a total fraud, and they're like, she's like, ah, I'm doing a sting, and they're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both sides are full fucking. Oh, it's crazy. They're nuts. It's nuts, dude. All right, sorry. So tell me about Matt Lauer. I don't know enough about it. Matt Lauer, he's got a. He got kicked off of CBS or NBC. NBC. I think NBC. NBC. He was a news reporter. Yeah. Making twenty five million. Was it NBC? I think it was NBC. NBC. I could be wrong. It could be who the fuck. One of those knows. Today or fucking morning one shows. Of those or one of those big garbage. Networks. Yeah, exactly. Dude, those Dude. shows are for fucking mindless retards. Well, yeah, he's also making twenty five million dollars a year. Hell yeah! It's like the first pro. You should cut those. They shouldn't make that much money. No. You could have that job for $75,000 a year and have a line out the door of people who want to do it. Yeah. So first step, you should fucking cut those people's money. Sure. Cut it, dude. I agree. 80 Gs a year. Fuck Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer should not have had that Fuck kind of money. Fuck all them. They all suck. They're horrible, dude. I've interacted with... Did you ever interact with news people? Yes. They think they're the shit. I never realized that until I went there. I went to a Fox the one time yes. and was talking to them and they were just like, hoo-hoo, like all quick back oh, and forth. Terrible. And I was like, you guys, I thought you guys like... I didn't know you guys thought you were so fucking cool. I thought local, they, I thought local they went up there. Local people suck so fucking bad. It's like they, it's unbelievable. The Ron Burgundy shit's real. I didn't realize yeah. they thought they so highly of themselves. I got a fight with my girlfriend's cousin over that. He's this in, fucking sportscaster walked in. A local Harrisburg sportscaster walked into the bar that we were at and was mm-hmm. like, "What's up? Shots on me!" Bleh. Like shit uh, like that. And I was like, "What a fucking douche!" And my girlfriend's cousin was like, "I know him. Fuck you. Don't talk shit behind people's back." I was like. That guy sucks. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> got a huge fight and I just left. That's hilarious. I was like, dude, fuck your cousin. Fuck that guy. It's fucking crazy, and Then man. I screamed faggot. <laughs> Did you? No. Adam? No. You should apologize right now. I'm sorry. Good. Thank you. Slate's even, baby. You're good to go. You gotta Namaste. wait seven years. You're in, you're in the room with fucking Lauer, Namaste. Louis. I'm not in their room right now. Yeah, dude. For what? For saying fag it's at all the takes, bar? It's all dude. Drunkenly? Pop your penis out of the oven mic, dude. Namaste. Lauer, so Lauer's charges are popping out penis. Okay. Showed a woman his penis, bought a coworker a dildo All with right. instructions. <laughs> this is a strong one. With instructions Both? stickied to it, like like a little note saying like, "Here's what I would do to you with this thing." 
Uh, but then the the weirdest thing was good God. Yeah, he's wilding out. But it's because he's making twenty five million. They're like, True. he's in a powerful position. He's like, well, fucking give him less money. Yeah. So and they were saying that he also again had the lock on his door. So he'd hit a button in his office, and the door would shut and lock Ooh. behind whoever's in there. So he had a girl come in, and he ordered her, according to the girl, to take her shirt off. And then they started having sex. And the first report I read about this, she she was like, and then I pat. The sex was so vigorous, or some sort of word for it. She's like that I passed out. And then I woke back up. So deep, put that ass to sleep. I don't know what happened. But it, that got taken down, though. That account got taken well, down. Of course, you're not going to be like, man, this sexual predator was fucking great. In the sack. Well, it was not even. She was saying, like, trying to say, like, I was in so much shock from like being called in and be like, take off your shirt. She was like, I was so oh, scared for God, my job. I had sex with him. Up, dude. That was that was the thing. But I'm the, so all right. I, I'm, I keep cutting you the fuck go off. Ahead, and go I ahead, go ahead, please. That's, that's the whole point of this. But I'm so. And this is going to be a horrible take. Yeah. This is not, I'm, I'm already ahead of this one with anxiety. This yeah. isn't going to be a good take. But you hear these stories, and this is probably not the best example, but like, yeah. you know how we all day you get online and, and, and Facebook and Instagram, like all that shit, and it's like, this kick ass woman did this. Women are fucking badass. Yeah. And then the next story is like, I didn't know what to do because I can't do things with that. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. That's, it's that's like, are women kick ass or are they completely helpless retards that we need to shelter? Yeah, that's, and that's probably the worst that's take the age I've had old in a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's the age old question, though, because it's like they're like, well, clearly it's not fair because he holds a position of power, and it's like, okay, then tell Matt Lauer, be like, kindly press that button before I scream rape in your room and you get fired. Yeah, and let me the fuck out. And if you fire me, so be it. I'm not having sex with you, dude. Yeah, but apparently, so she was like, I feared for my job. I didn't know what to do, so I had sex with Matt Lauer. And her husband divorced her. Is that the first thing was Ooh. like he called me in, ordered to take off my shirt. We kind of started having sex, but I passed out, so I don't really know. And oh then I woke my up, God. and then like, but it was like also husband divorced her. So it's like she was like, I didn't know what to do, and her husband was like, divorce. Yeah, because that, that's your fucking husband. Yeah. So it's like it's like so you chose Matt Lauer, possibly not liking you at your job over your husband and marriage. Basically, dude. What a it, but it's like it's like yeah, that was another not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's also that, that is it's weird though to be like, and I, I want the same thing because it's like, are you a fierce, independent fucking? It's woman. like obviously you have to shelter women to some extent, but like, do you think it's obvious we need to shelter women? Yeah, dude. You know, if Matt that. Lauer fucking locks the door on a woman, you gotta be like, you gotta yank the other side and be like, Matt, open up your yeah, fucking Matt, weird rape door, on, dude. dude. Why? Who the fuck installs a rape door? Apparently, they were saying like, well, and, the, and then so the network had to come out and be like, well, it's just an ego Security thing because they're playing something? middle. No, yeah. it's, they were like, it was just an ego. It was a gag, blah blah blah. blah. And it's like, it's an expensive fucking door to install, dude. And you can't just do things around an office building without having people like sign yeah. off. Matt Lauer didn't pay for the fucking deadbolt just, door. I just wish we could agree on what side of the spectrum women were on. Well, like, are they helpless retards or are they kick-ass? They're like badass, snowflakes, dude. Fucking independent. They're women. like individual snowflakes. Because if they're all badass independent women, mm-hmm. then that lady has no room to stand by being like, "I didn't know what to do. I felt pressured." So yeah. Uh, but if she was a helpless retard, then yes, Matt Lauer. Well, that's, that's in the wrong. Matt, Matt Lauer is a bad boy, and apparently a bad he boy. was having sex with a lot of people in that building, according to these reports. Yeah, no shit. It's Matt Lauer, and he's apparently dealing with helpless retards, and all he has to say is, hey, come into my office. Take your shirt off. We're going to have sex. Yeah. And then every single one of them was probably like, okay, I don't know what to do, but... Where they Damn, this is not good for me. <laughs> well, it's, it's, an inter- it's interesting, though, because it's like... That's not really how I feel. I'm trying to be funny. Well... Yeah, it's actually... Kind of true too. Though. Yeah, because my so thing is like keep that in mind. That's the part of these things that bother me when it's like, like yeah, you. But the whole the whole answer to that is that Matt Lauer is in a position of power and he's abusing that power. So like, it's not these women's fault because he's so powerful. So like, they're like they're like just quaking in the majesty of Matt Lauer's fucking yeah. job as a news reporter. And it's like. You don't have to fuck Matt Lauer, man. Like, yeah, could, but then when you say yes to it, the power thing goes out the window. It's just well, no, you you don't you say yes, but it's you don't mean yes. You're just yeah. so fucking obliterated by Matt Lauer's fucking sick office True. at Thirty Rock that it's like, what would you do? I'd I'd suck his fucking fat dick, right? You'd there. have to, dude. Yeah, 
But yeah, that's the that was that was a part of it that bothered me. It's, I'd it's, press the button. I'd be like, "Lock this fucking door. I'm about to suck your dick." Yeah, fucking put that thing down. <laughs> Open the door. I'm gonna suck your dick with the door yeah. open. <laughs> but I, that's the funniest part too. And they're like, "Well, he just has power." It's like, I don't know. You could probably like quit. I've quit a lot of jobs. Mm-hmm. Some guy, yeah. You know, it's you know, but you can never put yourself in it because they're like, "Well, you're a guy. It's easy for you to say." And it's like, of course. It's like yeah, if I was attracted to fucking powerful men, I yeah, fuck. It I, is easy. That's that's also the for to be like yeah. Well, you're a guy, so you don't understand it. My like, thing is so wait, we're not equal. Yeah, that's a whole other. <laughs> so it's, wait, yeah. Am I a guy, and it doesn't matter to me because I'm more powerful and intelligent than you? <laughs> or is like, that what you're getting at? It's it's a no win. It's a no win. You literally just have to be like yeah, Matt Lauer. I'm glad he's out. And I, I, I don't, mean, don't get me wrong. I hate yeah, Matt Lauer. Fuck Matt Lauer. Fuck I didn't even hate him because of that. I just I didn't. Yeah. I hate news people. Yeah, fuck them. I just don't. I don't get along with them. You know, my one time I hung out with them or two times, but but you just watch them. And you're like, what a fucking Jeez, loser, dude, motherfuckers. Yeah, they suck. But dude, so that was. The, I mean, he could have just gotten fired for showing dong. First of all, that's a very can't weird, show dong. Weird offense. Yeah, you can't show dong, dude. And then you fucking can't buy your coworkers dildos. That's an also a weird one. Unless you work at Spencer's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird gift. Tiny condoms. Yeah. Yeah, the uh or apparently too, him and his wife slept have been sleeping in separate rooms for a long time too. So Matt Lowey has been just a boy on the prowl for a long time and his Good. wife his wife was just like guy has a lot of money, man. Now if he if his crime was strictly if there was no locked door in there, because that's that's a real fucking weird one. Yeah, that's the that's if the girls didn't know about the locked door, then that's irrelevant. But yeah, but yeah. he still has the locked door. That's fucking weird. But if his only crime was being like, take your shirt off and have sex with me right now, I mean, yes, that's a fireable offense. Yeah, but that's not sexual assault, really. I don't think. I mean, not yeah. by, and that's the thing. It depends on how you. They're not. No, I don't think it is yeah, either. At obviously, work, no, that's fucking crazy. My thing is, they're like, well, these men have all this power, and it's like, yeah, but power is a two way street. So it's like, they're like, well, they're using power on. It's like, yeah, because you're participating in this weird power interaction. If you were to stop and be like. All right, fuck it. I'll go get a job somewhere else, or just be like, I'm yeah. gonna say no to fucking Matt Lauer, and just see what happens. Yeah. It's like it. It's like, dude, yeah. you're not scary. You have no power over me. Matt. Exactly. Yeah, Matt Lauer. That's the weird. That's the weird part about Put it. Away it's your like, fucking dildos. And dude, it's like so. If <laughs> all these things are kind of like that's that's kind of like behavior of like a a very power hungry person to be like, I'm gonna I fuck. I'm in my office. And it's like you're gonna suck my dick. Check out my dick. And it's that's like, like very Bill Clinton esque. Very Bill Clinton esque. But it's like these guys. <laughs> I'm like there. There's not going to be any. They're like we got to remove these positions of power, and it's like you're not going to. The whole point of getting power is to use it on other people. Otherwise, it's not power. Yeah. That's the only reason I would want to host the Today Show. Is to be like is to have a fucking secret dungeon in the, my office <laughs> that I can just lock people in and be like, show me your tits or you're fired. Oh, that's and that's dude. I'm telling you, man. It's like if you're not doing that already, you know. With the second I get over a hundred dollars in my bank account, like I'm show all me your in. tits. I walk around. I'm just like, show me your tits or you're fired. <laughs> They're like from, uh, from it's just what? a lady like, at Saxby. Like, you dumb bitch. It's a lady <laughs> yeah. at Saxby. She's like, you don't even work here. You're like, all right, I'll have a. Uh. <laughs> that is so weird to me. How like, well, it's just a power thing, and it's like. Matt Lauer sounds like we need to get uh, our former guest Rachel Fagletto down here to straighten you out again. I've gone astray. You've yeah. gone way off again. Listen I, to I what just, you said. You said what? that women were either helpless retards no, or badasses. Why would you say that? <laughs> That's crazy that you would that say that. That is an interesting if you if you even just to say like what well, you it's just an, it's a losing battle. It's like being no like shit. you can't bring this up. That's why it's funny like, to so talk wait, about. which one of you guys and they're just like Well what are you what are you trying to say? Like as a woman, <laughs> it's just like, all right, well, you're bullying me right now because you're more powerful than me. I've, I've said this before. It's a nationwide argument with your girlfriend. And it's like you can't win. If the the writer you are, the less you win. The more sense you make, the angrier this the hive mind of. Had an argument today with my bae. Did you really? Not not a real one, but she. Whenever she's driving in her fucking car, she'll call me. Ugh. And they just use you as like exactly. a weird time slave. I hate and that. It, that's dude. what I told her. I hate that. Today I finally stood my ground. Ugh. I fucking gzimmed it, and I stood my ground. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to trave on me with that phone call. And really? <laughs> said, Put the skittles down, you dumb bitch. Damn. Yeah, that was. Just, I don't know. What the skittles hot I'm Trayvon your... Martin had skittles. Okay. When he was murdered by a fucking fat Hispanic <laughs> retard. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
<laughs> and I was jokingly glorifying George. But uh, yeah, that's sick. You start explaining. All I gotta the, have to explain all these. You, you, I got, you gotta start getting like a disclaimer. I gotta have people keep coming up to me like, "Dude, you're racist as fuck." It's like, nah, bro. Nah, dude. I just I'm know chill. what. It's funny to act yeah. like a fucking idiot. Well, it's also funny to abbreviate GZM. Yeah, of course. But uh, <laughs> anyway, my girlfriend called me from the car. She was like, "I'm going to Aldi's right now," and I was like, "I know what you're doing." Oh Don't. God! I was like, you know, I was in the middle of a video game. Ugh. Middle of a game. You got to fucking flip up the headset. Saints versus Raiders. Oh. I was sitting there playing Madden. I got to hit pause and be like, oh, cool. What are you getting at? All she, these. Yeah. She's, she's like just fishing for a bunch of uh uh-huh's. It's like, is That's, that what dude, you want to hear me say? Uh-huh 50 literally, times? Literally, I can sit there and go, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can do that. Every three minutes, I can just <laughs> chime in and be like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I have, this is fucked up, but I have done that. Yeah. Just like put it on speaker, sit it next to me. Whenever she stops, chime in and just be like... Turn the volume down on the game. Huh? Yeah, you turn the volume down on Madden, and you're just like, seriously? Yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fucked up because I want to talk to her. Well, not in that but capacity. Not, I'm like... That's what I said to her. I was like, just... When you get home, call me. Yeah. When you when you have free time... Yep. Give me a call. You're because not, right now, you're using your fucking car ride... Yep. ...to call me. They do that a lot, My too. My mom does that. Yeah, they do it a lot, too, when it's like... They're going to meet like their friends or whatever out. They get there early. They call you and they're like, "Hey, yeah, no one's here." And oh, they're like, here. See ya. Bye. Boom. And it's like, <laughs> "What the fuck am I?" It's like, just look, look on fucking Instagram. Don't call me. Yeah. I hate that, man. That happens all the time. I do it. I do it to people though, so I can't. I can't really talk shit. Yeah. I, sometimes I do it to my well, friends, but there's a different phone call. There's a way different phone call between you and me than me and my girlfriend. Yeah. We're me, both talking. And if any point yeah. either of us like, I gotta go. I'm like, Shane's gotta go. Put my phone down. Continue to drive. I'm yes. never just like. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, and but. it's it's also like the the this phone call today was pre- it, they're usually particularly one dimensional. Yeah. It's just her telling me about her day. Well, I, that's that's another thing I think women need She's to kind of do. Stating her entire day about like, and this is my friend Michelle, and we went here, and Michelle was a bit tired, so we had to fucking like yeah. that rigamaroo or whatever yeah, rigamarole. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think they. Women, and I was like, I th- oh man, I swear women have a thing where they like. Kirby's dreamland their entire day and like they like absorb all the details until they feel like bloated with them they're like oh god and they just have to like spew them <laughs> on you like, I'm playing mad. I had a sweet potato for lunch I'm and like it's like, third and long right now in the fourth quarter dude I need to make this play oh here that comes kills a phone me. call about fucking what my dog's doing <laughs> <laughs> that sucks and then like, I do love, minute by, by minute traffic updates when it's like oh my god this person just switched lanes fucking and I'm like, asshole <laughs> Like, all right, that's cool. Uh, oh, don't want to hear. It's bothering me now. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I, I get these calls all the time, and I didn't want her to be upset. So you just did you take it? You said, "Look, no, I know I was, what's going I, on." And she was like, "Oh, I didn't know you're going to be like grumpy or rude." And I was like, "I'm not being rude." Yeah, this conversation's fine. You have to just tell her you're not a time slave. Like, but I'm not a time, a time slave. slave. Well, she knows I also do nothing all day. So that's the dumb, killer. You never, argument. you can never tell your girlfriend how much money you make or what you do that day. Yeah, it's tough for me to escape. Like, I got. Yeah. She doesn't understand that playing Madden is more important than that phone call. Did you Especially because it's a mindless phone call. If she And that's what I told her. I was like, never I was like if you called me with something to say or something to ask or really something to tell me other than, hey, oh, my God, my kids were crazy today at school. This, uh-huh. Blah, 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 blah. So she calls you like, right when she gets out of work. Well, yeah, she was driving home that's a, that's or a, driving to Aldi's or something. That's my shit. babe. As soon as she gets out, phone call, and it's like everything stops. Like, so what happened? Oh my god, that fucking bitch! No way, really. And it's just like, <laughs> it, dude, it's every day, man. It's, it, I'm telling you, and it's like they get like wrapped up in like three little beefs a day. To where like, bitch. And then, yeah, oh, dude, it's like never any beefs of just like it's. I've coined this the perpetual girl problem. Perpetual girl problem. Girls have like this never ending problem that just constantly changes and morphs and like takes a different shape every day, and it's just yeah. like a never ending yarn about like this weird thing that's happening that's very, constantly. That's a very good terminology never ending girl problems are it's the perpetual girl problem it's the very pgp real it's a pgp you got the ptps and then dude don't start me on the female ego that's the sick and twisted world of that i don't even want to get into that i think we we've touched we've on that. touched on it and the female ego especially when it comes to getting engaged and getting married it's and baby showers it's or the weird, gender reveals the weird interaction between women depending on their looks they kind of establish just like they fight to establish this mm. weird pecking order and then there's like Girls who are friends with guys, when then guys start dating another girl, then the girl will call the other girl to like meet the guy's girlfriend and try to start comparing with her. Dude, I've gotten a lot hmm. of insight into this, and it's like, it's just like a you like lift it up and look into it and go, holy fuck, I don't want to <laughs> think about that anymore. It's it's insane. It's crazy. It's like looking into a uh, a 
boiling pot of <laughs> sauce and the steam just comes up and hits you in the face. You're like, oh, fuck. I don't understand it. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. I've watched that before. I've watched like women kind of compete for like the attention of a, like a specific man. And I've been mm. like, this is odd. I dated a girl who did that. We were hanging out with her ex-boyfriend and her the ex-boyfriend's current girlfriend. Gross. Why were you doing that? It's, I was young. I didn't know. She was like, it's my, How old? Friend. it's my friend. I was like 25. Damn, that's not that young. But it was still, I've always been like, whatever, I'm cool. I can handle this. And like, and I was, I actually met yeah. the guy and we were cool. I didn't have any problem with yeah, him. Yeah, of course. But I like was watching this like interaction and it was just like, oh, you still fucking love this guy. And I had to like sit there and watch it the whole time. And then like, oh, God. Yeah, it was bizarre. And they were like literally competing for this guy's attention. I was just like chilling, just like. It's cool. I'm cool with this. I'm an open-minded guy. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. That's, that's one of the downfalls of smoking a lot of weed. What's that? You, you like, think you're open-minded? You think you're super... You're like, I can take this. It's cool. I'm chill. And like eventually yeah. just something hits where you're just like, fuck this. Yeah. Freak out. I mean, I think the older I've gotten too, I've started to realize like things... I can feel things affect me. Like I can... Re- like, like the other day when I woke up early and I was like, I know I'm grumpy. <laughs> I know I'm just being a bitch right now. Yeah. I know I'm just angry as fuck because it's early. Yeah. And so was he. He was the same way. You guys are just grumpuses. We're just grumpuses <laughs> arguing about nothing. I get that. If I get like a heated conflict where I'm like really like, – like I've chilled out on it big time. But like when I was like arguing with strangers a lot when I was driving – I would get so mad that like my heart would skip beats, and I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> like "It's fucking fuck you, dude." <laughs> <laughs> also, I can tell, I can feel uh, substances. Yeah, like, definitely. Like if I drink coffee, yeah. I feel like when I was young, I never felt anything. Wow. Like when I was young, if I had sugar or something, I would never be like, "Oh my god, I'm jittery." Well, that's because you're slowly dying. Now, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. But I'm I, saying I feel everything now. I used to never. I used I to be able to I'm chug very everything. Aware. I feel like when I when I start to feel sick, I can tell like everything. Yeah, that's dude. So I I had an Apple Watch. I don't use it anymore. I, I go back and forth, but uh, I got to the point where I could be working out and be like, I'm at 97 beats per minute with my heart rate. Check it, and I was usually within like one or two wow. beats per minute. Yeah, that's how I'm like. That's how psycholi. You are. Well, I'm, you are obsessed with your heart. Yeah, to like a really unhealthy amount. I'm convinced I'm going to have the big one. Yeah, so, You probably will. I know I will. I mean, chances are you will. Well, the ultrasound in my heart said it was like awesome. They're like, your heart looks great. But I know my heart, dude. I'm sure it looks fine. It's set to fucking burst. It's going to explode. It's set to burst. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely on a highway <laughs> to hell, dude. I'm, fucking, I'm out here doing yoga, trying to fucking escape this hell. Yeah, that's... Uh, but that's, whatever. Fuck yeah. it. But yeah, that, that was my uh, that was my big revelation this week. Though I was like, they should pay newscasters like as much as an electrician. It should be the same fucking job. Mm-hmm. It would be probably be the same exact outcome in terms of dicks coming out of pants and everything. But like, for sure, <laughs> there's still gonna be dongs out. Yeah, I was gonna say. But at least gave... we can't hide behind the idea that he was so powerful that we did it. Exactly. Yeah. In which case, like, also though, he was so powerful, we did it. Isn't that kind of what happens every single time a guy has sex with a lady? What do you mean? A lot of times. What like do you mean? he has a characteristic they like and respect, so they do it. Yeah, but then the guy has sex with like fifty other women, and it's like, but again, again, it's like I, that's when kind guys, of just like powers one of the see, things people like. What it, happens is, I don't know. Here's the no, here's here's the I fucking wanna, fuck. I gotta say this. No, guy. no, here's not here's, defending Matt Lauer. By no, the way. and here's the rat. Not in the, defending here's Matt the rat Lauer. in the stew. He's buying dildos and pulling his dick out. If he was 100%, just, he's gone. But it's like you can't. But he's at work. That's they're like. Well, yeah, I love how it falls on him though. It's like he's at work and he, I mean, it's like. I mean, she fucked him. Fuck it. She should be fired too. She's out there fucking guys at work. I mean, how do you fuck your coworkers? You can't at all then. You can't fuck your coworkers at work or you're both fired. Unless one of you apparently is powerful and then he's the one who gets fired. Yeah. And you're sitting there like, but I didn't know what to do. What about so Jim I and Pam? Him. Jim's a predator, dude. If he fucked her at work, yeah. Well, well he, he like set it up at work. So you can set up. He was set powerful up. at work too. She was just a secretary in the office. Yeah, he I mean, was a salesman. He had all the glory. Pam got duped into fucking Jim. Oh, really? He was he was like a nobody. No, Pam was a secretary. Oh, really? Jim was like a well, Matt salesperson. Lauer. Basically, he was Matt Lauer. He showed her his dick, and then he bought Angela on a dildo in one episode, and then Jim <laughs> <laughs> used I, his power to fuck. My Pam. Uh, my brother's old Korean boss showed him his penis. That sounds great. He literally pulled his pants out. Here was just like, "What's wrong with my dick?" He, he was saying dick. it wasn't getting hard because his wife's too fat, and he showed him his penis. How did he, like, he say it? He's uh, he was like, "I have no power in my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get a power." And my brother was like, he pulled his sweatpants down. He was like, "Dude, it was crunched up. It was a fucking, 
It was a micro bird. Damn. But his wife... The Korean guy showed his micro dick to your brother. His hairy... Like, it was like... Very... It was like oh. penis head nestled in like a, yeah, like a, a, a decade egg. bush. Like Just, a robin's yeah, egg. Robin's a egg. little pink robin's egg <laughs> in a fucking bush of pubes. And literally my brother goes, Ew, do you put your dick away? And then like hopped in a van and like drove off and was just kind of like... Ew, do you put your dick away? <laughs> like, if, if a boss of mine... Show, honestly, if a boss showed me his dick and was like, oh, Don't I have a powers? Oh. I'd be like, Oh man, that sucks. I'd go about my day. I would fucking I'd laugh. laugh hysterically. Dude, I'd mean, be so happy. But this guy had like a loaded gun too. So he had like a bunch of cash. So he like opens a drawer, there's a gun there, shots <laughs> it, and it's like, oh, I have little power. And my brother's like, ew, dude, you gross little bird out of here. And just like hopped in a van and was like, I'm out of here. But yeah, so my brother got Matt Lowered. Your brother got Lowered hard. And he used to also buy us, uh, his gifts were like, he would buy everyone these calendars of like Korean schoolgirls. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah, They're but they, so hot. they weren't in sexy outfits. They were. It was like oh, school. Was it was like school photo. It was like, like it was a young schoolgirl <laughs> in like a school photo, like a Catholic school dress, but like nothing revealing or sexy about it. It was like a young girl, and you, every page is a different like young schoolgirl. <laughs> you flipped it. Oh my god, it was insane. This guy's great, and Mr. Kim, dude. Yeah. Oh, I get it. speaking of borderline serial killers, uh, <laughs> I watched. Uh, there's a documentary on Amazon or Netflix. I think it's on Netflix. It's Jerry Seinfeld. It's called The Comedians. I oh, think. I've seen that before. You yeah, he's with, a fucking borderline with serial killer. Orny Adams. I know. Saw, yeah, I saw, I saw Orny that. Adams. If you watch that, it's called The Comedian. Oh, I think Jerry about, Seinfeld and Orny. Jerry I saw Seinfeld's it, yeah. a complete fucking. I thought you were saying he's a serial too. killer. I was like, he but definitely is. Yeah, he does. Come on, he yeah. the way he talks about stand up. Fuck that. Yeah. Apparently, he's top ten dead or alive. Yeah, but I didn't. But I didn't also, like. It. I didn't like his interview. At he all. comes off like a huge smug douche. Yeah. Oh, not that one. Not the one. Not with, the comedian. Not, not the, the comedian. one with Louis. No, and, I know what you're talking about with him and the other guy, and they yes. contrast their lives. And the other guy is called Orny Adams. Yep. And there is not a bigger douche on earth than Orny Adams in that in that documentary. See, I, don't, I just the only thing I remember about that is they played that one song with the harmonicas in it. John Mayall, Room to Move. It's like, bum, 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 bum. Uh-huh. There's a, dude, there's a part. So Orny Adams, he gets Just for Laughs mantra. He gets represented by mm-hmm. Jerry Seinfeld's agent. So that's why he's blown up. He gets all this shit. He gets yeah. like a Letterman spot. He gets Just for Laughs. Do you think they did it just for this documentary? I don't know. Because he was pretty bad, he from was, what I remember. He He's going to be at Helium in like two weeks. Is he really? <laughs> yeah, he's still going. Oh, Orny fuck. Adams. And I, thought, I, think, I, thought, I think he's toned it down. But at the time, he's 29 in the documentary, too. I remember that. Wow. What was, but, Mer- what was Mercury doing at the time? Mercury was definitely in retrograde. retrograde right. It was very. I don't retrograded. even know what that means. <laughs> What's it mean? I think it's behind like Jupiter or something. Yeah. Okay. It's funny too because I always thought of Mercury as the literally the substance, the element being in retrograde, some sort of thermometer, and it's moving <laughs> up and down. I don't know what retrograde <laughs> means. I think it's fucking fucked up. But no, uh, Orny Adams like the the camera comes up to him. And he's like, oh, it's before one of the one before one show. He's like looking at the camera. He's like, the stage is just like a woman. Like uh, I just wanna, I just wanna mount her and destroy it. Yeah, like he is fucking. Aw- at one point, he's sitting at the bar after a set, and he's, he's, uh, he's just calling everyone a faggot. No, he's in there <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating peanuts. He's by himself. He nobody talks to him the entire time. Okay, not one other comic just even looks at him. Uh uh-huh. And he's sitting there by himself, and he like looks at the camera. And he's like, "You tell those industry people to start stretching now, because I don't want them pulling anything when they're chasing after me after this." Set. Ugh. I've never seen a bigger douche in my life. That sucks, yeah. Nothing, not even fucking Bobby Kelly and Dane Cook and on tour. you can catch him at Helium. Uh, I think he's turned it, turned it around. Has he? From from accounts, from guys like Ben. Ben told me about him. Because oh. I, was, I was talking to Ben about it. He said he loves Orny Adams? No, he said, he said he, apparently he's not as big a douche. Okay. But I was talking to Ben about that's the most insane shit I've ever seen. That was crazy. I've seen, I watched two... The last like two weeks, I watched Torgasm with Dane Cook on HBO. That was sick. I watched that. That was hilarious. How long ago did you see that? Like uh, when it came out? Like oh no, five? you showed it to me. It was hilarious. It was That's him. the most frustrating shit. That's on when Earth. I stopped liking Bobby Kelly. I watched him on I that. Know. I'm like, what a fucking loser. Bobby Kelly sucks. I ass. thought Dane Cook just looked like a pretty normal dude on that. No, he didn't. Really? You got to rewatch it. He's a complete fucking loser. I don't remember. I only saw literally ten minutes of it. Both of them. Bobby and, Kelly and not host, stunned Bobby me. Kelly Bobby Kelly sucked. was brutal. And then there was the new kid. Oh, yeah. They all sucked. I remember them being like, Even Gary Goldman just go sucked. out there and they, try it out. Oh, they all suck. Yeah, but they're all... When was that filmed? Like, 05, 06. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're so a like decade... like 10 years ago? They're a decade behind. I know, but... It's funny how much stuff 
like when that happened, that was awesome. And now we look back on that and we're like, that was kind of ten years old, and people don't act like that anymore, and that's weird. Yeah, but so they, we no, have they so many douches to act. Like I mean, Patrice and Bill Burr and all them were still there. Yeah, and yeah. Louis. Yeah, well, he was there. Like they, Louis he was, was cranking. In the, he was in the back of the bus. Dude. He's he who shall not be named now, dude. True. No, Louis <laughs> still king, dude. Fuck <laughs> He's that. So good. Um, He's coming back. His comeback is going to be so funny. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, He's going to be so funny about it. I mean, fuck, dude. What can you do? And yeah, the thing he is, like, fun of it. he produces all of his stuff, so he could still release a special through his website. No problem. I know, but I don't think he would right now. He's going to chill. He's not going to just come out with a, that blazing hour about jerking awesome. off. It'd be the best thing in the world. And the thing is, everyone would watch it. If he did it, it would everyone would download it and watch it. True. Do it, Louie. Please. <laughs> please do it. I still love you, dude. <laughs> I don't care about what you did, dude. I thought about, I thought about all the fan mail he must have got. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I was like fantasizing about like a letter, him getting my letter and being like, Louie, I'm so sorry, dude. You'll be okay. Yeah. Have you heard about NoFab? <laughs> <laughs> He's a porn addict. That's what happens he when you're a porn addict. NoFab. Dude, do you know... So apparently, sorry, I don't want to go off on this, but I will. <laughs> I think every year, collectively, like around the world, the amount of people who watch porn is like the existence of the universe. The amount of hours spent. I think it's like the amount oh, of hours yeah. spent in like 10 years is like literally the, the whole human enterprise. Nice. That's how much time people spend watching porn. True. That's awesome. It's fucked up the to think about. man hours of watching porn. It's is like, like civilization. Yeah. That's great. That's crazy. I think it's one year. In one year, if people are watching porn, it's like the collective whole show of humanity. That sounds good. It's fucked up, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, if you think about it, one year, how many people do you think watch porn? There's how many people? Uh, hundreds of millions. And this is just no, off I of mean, porn in the world, there's like 7.5 7. now. 7.5, but Something it's like crazy. slash that in half. I mean, not even in half. Slash that in like a tenth of people. Number who of actually... people that have internet out of that. Anyway, we're going to, yeah, that's but too yeah, long. Think about, about that. Think about the Middle East. Tell so much that. porn, dude. Now Matt just listened. Oh, God, Matt's dude. been listening to a book. Oh, I can't. Let's close I can't out even, on how great this is. I I I don't even want to talk about I, this. Book. Are you ready for some Islamophobia? Well, no, get ready, it's not even. Because here comes Matt McCosker. I was going to jock. I should jocko the book, but, and then he took it and he, oh, dude. So basically, the book is about a uh, infidel. It's a lady who escaped. Muslim ruled Somalia and then went to Saudi Arabia. But the one, there, it's really good. You should listen to it. The one part of it that I'll read it. I was you should read it, dude. Next, you should read it next <laughs> no, week. I won't read it. I don't read it, dude. I was driving and they start going into like they went into detail about how her grandmother, when her mother went out against like the family orders. Where was she? She was in Saudi Arabia. No, the, the mother went like she kept like leaving and going out to like political meetings as the father. No, was, I mean where were they? Was this? They Saudi were in Arabia? Somalia. Somalia. What's okay. the capital of Somalia called again? Mogadishu. Mogadishu. Yeah, they were in Mogadishu and uh, nice. And um, I'm, I'm all on it, dude. I was Black Hawk down, baby. I was impressed. I was like, hopefully, I was like, hopefully Mogadishu comes up. So that's like the one place I know right now. And yeah. I'll definitely, and I like forgot it instantly. <laughs> yeah, Black Hawk down is Mogadishu. So yeah, they're in Mogadishu, and the grandmom, like the dad, was in jail and ordered like. No circumcisions. It's barbaric. And then like, it's the a mom. Good order. It's great. Dude, that guy was ahead of his fucking time. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a Muslim dude in Somalia. He was apparently like totally not Skinny. really with that shit. That's what they're called. Really? That's what our boys in blue call Our boys in fucking beige called them. Really? Fucking skinnies. He was, an, he was called in this book an anti because he was like against the fucking regime. I don't know if you know the guy who was the regime leader of Somalia in the 70s. I, forget. I don't. I forget. It's like Abu Babi or some shit. And uh, so the grandmom just like went fucking rogue and had a bunch of women from the village come or Mogadishu or whatever. And they hold you down. You have a, someone holds each of your limbs and they took literally scissors. A guy comes in and fucking cuts off their labia and clitoris with scissors. And then they stitch it up. So like the scar tissue forms around their vagina. I'm, I'm on 95 listening to this dude. I told you I almost passed the fuck out. I was driving and I was like, I'm going to fall out on 95 and fucking kill someone. But I kept listening cause I had to, but they fucking stitch it up. Then scar tissue forms around where it was. And this weird guy comes a week later, takes the stitches out. Stitches out. So now you have this like no clitoris, no lips, just hole for a vagina. And they give you a little hole to pee out of. And meanwhile, the, the two weeks you, you've spent recovering, your feet are tied together. And you have to lay still and you can't move. Otherwise, the stitches rip and the guy has to sew up your pussy again. Uh, so the, the flesh how forms. Old is the, how old is the girl when this happens? Seven years old. Fuck. Yeah, dude, it's fucked up. So then flesh kind of scar tissue forms around like the opening Jesus. of the vagina. So it's like impenetrable. But the like, so basically it should only be opened by a man's hard penis. So like the night you get your bride, you 
thrust in and break this scar tissue, and you know she has been reserved for you. And if she hasn't, her whole family, all the males in her family are it's shamed. Like Pringle scan. You got to pop it open. Dude, that, that is... <laughs> once you pop. Fuck, you man. Cannot stop that. That, I, that fucked me up. I was driving. I was just like, ew. That's disgusting. Ew, dude. It's crazy, man. And her sister's ripped and had to be like re-sewn up by the weird man. Oh, God. And the brother got circumcised when he was fucking... Like, I might go watch Black Hawk Down right now to celebrate this. Really? Watch us fucking yeah, light dude. them up. No, yeah, that's not that's not the way to do things, dude. You don't cut off women's yeah. vaginas, dude. With scissors especially. Just like Somalia <sighs> scissors kicking around. They might have been pretty sharp. They probably don't have much safety scissors kicking Somalia around. Somalia scissors, they're probably... Everything in Somalia sucks. So that probably, <laughs> probably really, really <laughs> sucks. Oh, dude. Literally cut off her pussy with scissors. Yeah. And she just have to bite down on a strap. And the whole time your grandmother's like, think of your honor. Think of your honor. Do not scream out. The people will talk. And you have to just lay there and just take it. And then you just don't have a pussy now. You have to just go through life being like, all right, I don't have a pussy now. It fucking sucks. Uh, actually, I am gender fluid. So. Yeah, I guess you could do that. But, dude, I literally, I almost passed out. I was like, this is the most, like, fucked up thing yeah, I've ever listened anything, to. Anything with... Uh, general mutilation general of children. General mutilation of children is not one of my favorite things. Dude... It's crazy, man. But apparently, dude, that's the fucked up thing. I'm not getting... My kids aren't getting circumcised, dude. My Obviously, not just the men. The girls don't have to face that here, but men still shouldn't get circumcised here. Yeah, I'm not... I don't give a fuck. That's I'm happy a, I have a normal dong. Not me, dude. You you're, you you're, skin. you're emotionally scarred in ways you don't understand from that incident no, that I'm happened not. in childhood. No, yeah, I'm you not. are. Yeah, huh? No, I'm not. I'm telling you. No, There's I'm angst not. in you that is not in people that aren't circumcised. Really? Yeah. You're fucked up. That's horrific, dude. You're a baby and someone razored off the skin of your bird. All to appease women's aesthetics. No. Dude. It was a covenant I have with God. Dude, it's just to make just your unit Just because you've look. been reading these new age sex book bullshit. I'm not, it's not new age Fuck sex book. Fuck you, dude. Literally, the only reason people get circumcised now is because girls think it looks weird. Imagine if you went to a girl's <laughs> vaginas and you were like, ew, dude, fucking cut off your labia. I'd be like, no, nah, definitely not. I'm not circumcising myself. I don't know. And I'm doing exercises to get my foreskin back. Yeah. yeah, you can stretch it out and reconstruct your foreskin. Why do you fuck with your dick so much, dude? Just let your dick go. You got a fucked up, lotioned up, leather back dick. It's dude. coming back, dude. I've, dude, I actually uh, diagnosed someone's illness the other day on Reddit. Nice. Someone has. Like, God damn it! I wish you didn't someone, get a hold of Reddit. Someone had <laughs> epidemic crado conjunctivitis. I had, it was a bad eye infection that I had one time. Nice. It's like a third world eye infection, and some someone was like, I was reading this. I always read the ass doctors and just Doogie Howser people. And I'm reading, I'm reading the thing, and I'm like, this is fucking epidemic cratic conjunctivitis. I had this before. Hit them with the fucking link, and they're like, dude, this is exactly what I have. Thank you so much. And I was like, all right, no problem. I've diagnosed two weird dick rashes where I was like, yeah, here's what you need to do. I already had this. Damn, you diagnosing people? Are I'm, you giving I'm, them the lotion? I'm Doctor Fucking. Are you, tell, dude. are you telling them about? They're like, which cream? I'm like, here's the cream. I tried this wow. cream. This didn't work. Here's this so one. You're, well, you're handing out the fucking. Dick, I'm not giving it out. I'm telling dick them. Dick wax. I'm like, go find this cream, and I'm like, but it's going to dry your bird. Doctor so. McCusker's dick wax. Here's the thing: when you get a dick rash, you put this cream on it that just dries your bird to kingdom come. So then you put it on for like a month. So then you stop putting it on, and your bird gets all weird, and you think like, oh, my rash is coming back. No. It's just dry skin. You gotta moisturize it and don't put more cream on because you're gonna get to the state I'm in, which is just like an ashen fucking bird. Just a ruined, dry fucking two faced bird. <laughs> Do you think your bird's gonna rise from the ashes like a phoenix? I think I'll get an extra inch from the rash, yeah, from just like all you the think stress. Your rash is, it's gonna be like uh, when you light one of those snake fireworks. <laughs> your dick's just gonna grow out it's of It's just this gonna grow out of my body to cover the scar. disease. Cover the scar tissue. Um, I might just have leather dick for like the rest of my life, which would be cool too. Yeah, but does that affect how well you feel it? Like, does that? Do you ah, think feels, your leather dick? Well, from from no fat, it always feels so good. Hmm. Since I stopped being on porn, it just feels so good every time. Um, but I wanted to say this to you because I was talking to JC Super Artist. He's a he's a Philly artist. He was he was discussing uh, the fact that he was thinking about making a design for Doctor McCusker's dick wax. Oh, really? Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. I just dude, I'm telling you, I'll start selling that shit, that. man. Dude. No, I mean, for like, because we, we should get some sick merch. A we lot should, of people are clamoring for sick merch. I know. We should do a, uh, we should do a, like I'm going to do a double blind. t-shirt or just some sort of t-shirt. I'm going to do a double blind study. Have people put on dick wax once a day. For what benefit? Shiny dong. Smooth dong. It does make your dong smooth, like really nice. I mean, I think you could use moisturizer for a smooth dong. Too so much chemicals and shit in it, dude. You're going to sterilize yourself. I mean, I, I don't I don't do that. But <laughs> if, if one of the you can also just jerk off. If with one it. of the things I wanted was a shiny dong, yeah, 
I would, I don't know, maybe I would contact you about some sort of wax to shine my dick. Exactly. Because the, the moisturizer is exactly. the moisturizer. <laughs> the the moisturizer is going to soak in. Yeah. And you're not going to have that shine. The, the lipid no content way. of the coconut oil is going to form like a shield against the elements and look nice. Shield against the elements. <laughs> <laughs> I also dip my di- I also dip my chicken I dip my dick in that magic shell chocolate and go to bed. This That's forms good. a good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I should. Oh my god, dude! Stop doing stuff to your dick, <laughs> I, dude. I told you what happened. Leave it alone. I I can't. Well, actually, I, I do leave it alone, but you know, I like to shine it up. Stop shining your dick. Why? I have why to. Right, I have to moisturize. It? I have to moisturize it right now. You should go back to that lady who fixed whatever was wrong with your dick. She already fixed it. And then tell her, like, should I be rubbing wax on my dick? You think Western medicine knows what to do with this, dude? It's fucking, <laughs> I need, this is an Eastern medicine practice. All right. I mean, that's just how it's going right now. That's the way. That's, how, that's what's going right now. The whole thing with West versus East. Did you know about this? <laughs> we basically dominated the East, right? Yeah. Through, like, economics and everything. And spiritually, they're dominating us. Because mm-hmm. now, like, we're all doing yoga, we're all, all this new age stuff that's infiltrating all of our belief systems. So we've kind of like conquered each other on different levels. Kind of weird to think about. No, they haven't conquered us spiritually. Slowly, dude. No. People, religions dropping. People who are religious are dropping off. Well, Buddhism. It's. I'm telling you, we're getting. They're going to conquer us spiritually. No. And they're going to be the ones who are just like total capitalist pigs, and they're going to f- come back here and butt fuck us. Who's dude. that? The, the East, Chinese, the East, Chinese, the East. Yeah, we dude. We the Chinese are already pretty fucking. I know. Capitalistic. Yeah, we did that, dude. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, but... what does this have to do with you shining your dick? That's like a very Eastern practice. I feel like. So <laughs> now you're so you're saying that your dick wax is this holistic. I've been spiritually. I've been. I got hit by a genie from the East, dude. I got bedeviled. What did you do? Then? I got bedeviled by a genie. It's just the way it's going, dude. It's what what did get. you do wrong that got you a genie? Or did it just no fault of your own? No fault of my own. They're, they're around everywhere, dude. A genie s- attacked you. A genie attacked my fucking dong. Gave me a fucking blue on it and gave me a fucking busted up dong. <laughs> <laughs> what was the genie's name? Did he tell you? Sazeraf, dude. I don't Sazeraf. know. <laughs> so wait, a genie named Sazeraf blew on your dick. I I think I don't know. You are you sure you did nothing wrong? I mean, yeah, everyone does stuff wrong all the time. Yeah, but what do you think summoned Sazerath? It's probably when I broke up with my girlfriend for the third time. Sazerath came and blew on my dong, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's too bad. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's that's a weird thing, too. Dude, there's another thing I was reading that was a... Uh, Listening to. Technically, but the... So it's talking about archaic men and how they used yeah. to think and how, like... Everything had like its own will and spirit. So like if a crocodile ate if you were if it was you, me and Beezer, say, by a lake yeah. and a crocodile ate Beezer, it'd be like that, was... that crocodile ate Beezer because that crocodile had, he was either possessed possessed by a sorcerer in order to eat Beezer, or it was like working with some other entity and like it, it had nothing there was no such thing as chance back then. Yeah. And if you like say like you you know how you were grumpy the other morning? Yeah, so if you woke hexed. up in the morning and felt hexed or like grumpy yeah, by a Vic. You just woke up, and if say you stumbled out, you like first step, you walked out of your hut and stumbled. Yeah, you'd be like, "Fuck, I'm hex," and you go back inside and lay down all day until you're like, <laughs> yeah. "All right, I'm better," and walk Call in. to work. Dude, and be like, "Yo, so, I'm a hex." Oh, no, fucking hex! So hex, I can't. Like, go there's to a work. sorcerer in a neighbor, neighbor, uh, neighboring village, and uh, he put a hex on me. And people would be like, "Oh my god, stay the fuck inside, dude." Yeah, don't bring that here. And then there was like, so there's Crockett. They're like getting ruled by the British eventually, and people tried to run, run away from the British and got eaten by crocodiles. So then, like, these villagers were like, well, the crocodiles now are in cahoots with the British, and, like, they thought yeah. they were police crocodiles. Dude, it's fucking crazy. It's, and these were hunter-gatherers that were, like, alive in the 60s, yes. but they were just stuck to those times. I found I saw a funny video about crocodiles yesterday. What? There was just some local news in Australia. They were interviewing this, somebody, some head of some city, like a mayor or mm-hmm. some shitty mayor at some town in Australia, and somebody was asking about gay marriage, and he's like, oh, do whatever you want. Not, you know, I've Kiss got no, death, dude. Yeah. he was like smiling though. He was like, I've got no problem with what a man does yeah. with another man. It's fine. <laughs> and then he got real serious and was like, the real problem is we've got these damn crocodiles up here and three people a year. Nobody cares. Well, it's <laughs> actually pretty rare. Yeah. Crocodiles usually don't eat people. I know. He was talking about three a year. Yeah. That you think would be That's more than crazy. That. They don't really eat no, people, No, but man. in one town. I mean, yeah. No, I, three a year. That's too many crocodile really deaths. High. Yeah. That's really what I'm saying. High. Yeah. That sucks. But it was. It was. You funny think it'd to, be like forty a year? It was funny to see a guy that was like, 
somebody they asked him about gay marriage and he was like oh no i don't care he's like why don't we give a fuck about these crocodiles eating people that's a good fucking <laughs> like, call that's a real problem that is a real problem i love that that was a real problem <laughs> that that guy has to face he's like we got these damn crocs <laughs> well, that was funny too because the other day I, I walk my dogs every morning and like there was a weird thing i noticed about how and i, I this is my theory I've, I've still been sticking to where like black people say hi to each other in the morning and mm-hmm. wish each other good morning and white people see each other in the morning strangers and are just like you just look at the other person and it's like what the fuck are you looking at but black people see each other and go i could just good be morning. you though i say what's up I say, I say up what's up to everybody. people i say what's up to people but a lot of times if i walk by another white guy and i'm like hey what's going on they're just like most true, times, true, true. Walk by a black dude in the morning, like good morning. It's like good morning, man. It's yeah, like yeah, they get so into it. Like, dude, the other the, the one guy walked out one day. He's like good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, and I'm great. sitting there like, man, this is great. But then like, so I'm walking my dogs to say hi. But every now and again, there'll be like a. Usually it's like older black. A lot of older black ladies say hi to me. But it'll be like a forty year old black lady. I'll see her and be like good morning, and she'll just like look at me and give me like a, a dirty look, mm. and then like. My whole th- I have dogs, so they're kind of like walking away from the dogs. And in my head, I'm like, at first, I'd be pissed. Like, what the fuck, man? I hate I hate when people don't say hi back. It pisses me off. Yeah. But then in my head, I'm like, they might look at me like I look at the crocodile hunter. Like, I'm just wrangling dogs. And they might be like, dude, what the fuck yeah, what is this psycho. guy? What the fuck is he doing? I'm like, no, they're fine. They're just dogs. Yeah. So that was my theory. I'm like, yeah, they probably just think I'm like there's a fucking a, weird There's a black master. lady that whenever I get coffee, she sits out on her porch in the morning. Mm-hmm. And every time I walk by, I usually have headphones in, but she still goes for it. She talks to me. Yeah. She, she, like, every time. It's great. Yeah. It's the, wonderful. Dude, the morning is like a very, uh, it's a and, very and sacred morning, time. by morning, I mean the fucking, like, mid-afternoon. When, oh, well, the, when she and I are both waking up. So there was, a, I didn't know, I didn't know that's like the, uh, that's like the secret thing. When I was going to the gym in the morning, there was an old dude, like, ancient black lady sitting there. And I used to always walk in, hit my car, and, like, and, like go in. And yeah. I was just, I just grumpus, dude. All, every morning, she'd be so mean to me. Like, what the fuck's her problem? And then I saw some guy come in, like good morning and i was just like huh she's so nice smiling so i would come and make like, good morning and dude this lady would just be like ear to ear megawatt smile all about and your attitude man. as soon as i came in all I, about your attitude dude, oh every we'd have a three minute conversation but you it's, can't control other people's attitudes but you know who's you can mine you can control and you exactly can control your i own. said good morning to her dude and we became friends like that now back to sassafras or whatever that genie's name what? that's been torturing your dick it's off dude i can't think the I, x is off now it's off i fucking Help myself with some fucking coconut oil. So that's, one, that's another thing. Your oil, your It'll wax keep does. genies off your dick. Keeps genies off. Keeps yep. your dick shined. Uh huh. May or may not cause ringworm. You got to watch that. It doesn't, dude. Possible side effect <laughs> side effects include uh, ringworm and leathering of your dick. No, no, the leathering's from ringworm. Okay. And I don't think it came from coconut oil, dude. There's a lot of. But more that's th- a high risk. That's a no, high risk. there's way other. There's so many other ways you could have got ringworm on my dick, dude. Sure, but one of the main. That's a tough. We're gonna need. It to, does thrive on a moisturous environment or yeah. a moisturized environment. Moist. Moist, moisturous, uh, moisturous. Sure. <laughs> moisturous, moisturous is good. Speaking like a true doctor, selling dong wax. <laughs> so, so, so again, we need to go over the the benefits of okay. your dong wax. Are may ward off genies. Definitely, wards, definitely off genies. wards off evil genies. Yeah, uh, shines it, shines your bird. Yeah, you've got if, a real and also, shiny. And also, if you're into masturbating your butt, you can use it for that. If you're into masturbating your butt. <laughs> How do you do that? I just want you to say that. <laughs> How do you masturbate your butt? Do you finger yourself? I don't finger my butt. Hell no. Have you ever? I don't even masturbate. Bro. Have you ever fingered your butt? And you? Did I felt around there. I felt. I felt around my butthole. You have. But I, I, I couldn't. In a get sexual in there. manner, you've. Yeah, done I was jerking that? off. I definitely felt around my butthole before. What? I yeah, wanted to see what if I liked it. While dude. you're jerking. Yeah. And I was just like, eh, All right. I'm not into that. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, I got dizzy. <laughs> it was too hot. You got too dizzy. Yeah, I got dizzy. A friend was I passed me, out, dude. He puts his legs up and jerks off when he when he jerks off. Why does he put his legs up? He lays on his back and puts his legs up and jerks. What is his legs? What just like get his I asshole know. open? Gets I assholes guess? out in the air. Everything's open, free. He's touching it. He's just trying to start yeah, the conversation. Yeah. He's easing into the he conversation. To, I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I've that's gross. I've Don't touch my butthole. I've <laughs> touched my butthole. I've never touched my butthole while jerking off. You have to. I don't. I'm. No, you don't. You have to do it, dude. I mean, I'll give it a shot for you. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. Don't do it in my name. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'll be like, Matt. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't do it. You're going to feel weird and dirty afterwards. I'm not going to do it. You're going to so, be like out of breath and that your heart rate's going to be a little faster than normal. And you'll be like, what the fuck was that Dawn about? Dawn wax will ward off genies. Yep. Good for butt masturbation. If you want. Shines your bird. Anything else? Um, Does it protect this from is a pregnancy? Theory. This is a theory. 
Uh, no, it, well, it's you shouldn't. No, no, it's not. A, don't put a no. You don't. Put, you don't put like a, a fat-based lubricant into a woman's vagina. Okay, that can actually. That's not good for a woman. So vagina. don't use a dong wax for sex. Don't. Well, if you want, but it's usually not good for your girlfriend. So okay. you should probably you should sterilize her first if you're going to do that. Sterilize your woman. Yeah. Get some sort of dental dam. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's pretty much good for that. And I also think that maybe like the lipid, like the fats in the coconut oil, I've always like hoped that the fat cells would like somehow osmose through my bird yes. and fatten it up. Fat give you a plump, shiny. I, that's my that's my theory. I'm ringworm not... riddled fat dick <laughs> yeah. that you can well at least ribbed for her pleasure. Dude. At least ringworm is better than genies. That's true. So well, that, I think that's the genie in my skin. So that was the genie where he touched you. He that's touched me. The worm. He kissed, he genie kissed my bird, dude. That's his lips. That's his lip print, yeah. So you got to watch out for that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Where the fuck are we at? This we're, has got to be well done. Over, yeah. This has got to be done. 20. Oh, my God. That's too long. So long. Um, Nix. Nix was at the show at the Lucas Brothers. I ran into oh, him. Oh, nice. Hell, yeah. Yeah, he's the man. It's a great boy, dude. Uh, G-Doc, all his bulls. Oh. Shout out them. Yep. Good boys. My uh, they've been hitting me up to hear the rest of the live cast. A couple of people have. Oh yeah, I have it in my email. So I don't. Do you want to? Yeah. If, yeah, if you want to contact Matt, I don't have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll email to you. I'm gonna start an email list, dude. Yeah. I'm send you. Oh, yeah. just, I'm just gonna send you. Dick the only face. way you can get it is if you join our Reddit. Yeah. MS Secret Podcast or MS Secret Pod. Just type in hashtag Chat Nation in Reddit and it comes up. Really? Yeah. Hashtag Chat Nation. Yeah. All right, that's Jesus pretty sick. Christ. So much easier. Your Reddit bullshit stinks. <laughs> anyway, if you if you join our Reddit and uh, review the cast, which you probably already have, mm-hmm. if you want the live one, but yeah, ask us on Reddit and uh, we'll give it to you. Yep. And other than that, um, that's pretty much it. You got anything you want to say? Yeah, my, we're getting an official sponsor too. Oh yeah, my uh, my friend's a lawyer. He's so. coming through. Does he want to do it? I'm just going to hit him with some no, fucking... No, I mean, does he want to do that? Yeah, he said he wants to do it. All right, nice. So he want, he's a... Uh, what you call it? Tell he's him to a, buy a me a... Uh, he's an estate attorney. Tell him to buy me a couple sandwiches and he's in. Yeah, that's fine. I a couple of Jimmy John's, a, a couple of JJ's. sandwiches. So if your parents die uh, and you need a lawyer to sell all their stuff quick so you could fund your vices following their untimely deaths, hit up my boy. Yeah. He's a lawyer. He handles wills and stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch about or that, if, too. Or like, if you were like a total dick to your dad and you got cut out of his will, you can try to like fight your dad legally in his posthumous state. That's try awesome. Try to get some money to like spend on drugs and sick. stuff. Yeah. So that's I think what he my, does. my grandma's going to die soon. I could, I might use your boy. Hit him up. Yeah, he'll help. He'll, she, he owes, love, she owes my family more. He would love it. to divvy up your dead grandmother's stuff. Yeah. We're the one sheltering her while the rest of my mother's... You should sue Siblings her. don't do anything. You should put a lien on your grandma. I'm I'm just speaking out of term. You should put a lien on your grandma now so when she dies you get lion's share I of her stuff. I should just kill her. <laughs> You're like Raskolnikov, dude. I could put a pillow over her head. You, you should literally, dude, that? you should do uh, crime and punishment her. Yeah. She's the old wily fucking pawnbroker. You should go in there and murder her with an axe. I should kill her. You should murder her with an axe and hide her like axe? watch. That's what he does, yeah. No, I'm not going to use it. He axe. bludgeons her with I an was, axe and then buries her watch in the ground. I was going to use a pillow or give her the old nudge down the steps. <laughs> that might not kill her, though. That would kill her. She's fragile. You think a nudge down the steps? She be bet. I'll come down there and finish it off if if not. You should go mob style, dude, with some fucking like a, a wire fucking, string. <laughs> not just fucking two piece combo. <laughs> <laughs> just two hooks to the head. She right. like a pile driver. Yeah, yeah. I don't so talk if about you, killing my grandma. Yeah, he'll probably yeah. If well, you call dude, him up I, and you killed your grandparents, keep that to himself because it's not like Better Call Saul, yeah. dude. He can't like. Yeah, you can't confide in him. He will exactly. tell you if you hook to your grandma on the head. Well, no, he'll just he'll just bribe you. True. That's so, sick. I'll, I'll get some I'll more. I'll post. Sick. I'll post his fucking details on Reddit. So if you want the live cast, come to Reddit. Join our Reddit. Hashtag Shat Nation. Yep. Or Shat Head. Shat Nation. Hashtag Shat Nation. S H A T N A T I O N. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, that's it. Yep. You guys, uh, it's been truly blessed. Thanks to our sponsors. It's been dude. truly blessed time to hang out with you, Matt. Yep. It's good to it's see been you. It's been a blast, dude. And. Uh, what else? Do you have anything on the horizon you want to plug? Uh, yeah, I do have a couple shows, but none of them really matter. Although the people back him might want to hear this one. So I'm trying to think of ones where I need people to be at. Uh, this one is December December 30th in Hershey, Hershey, PA. Okay. So December 30th, uh, I'll be in, in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Ooh, the eve of New Year's Eve. Yeah, that'll be good for my pals there. Other than that, the rest of my shows are kind of far away. All right. 
So yeah, December thirtieth. Come to that. That's that. I'm buy, I'm uh I'm writing a book. It's almost done. Buy it because oh. no one will definitely no one will publish it. Yeah, thing. I'm excited to hear about yeah. that. Uh, New Year's Eve will be at McGooby's Joke House in Maryland, in Baltimore. We don't nice. have anybody. I think uh, we have some be, listeners. We some listeners, listeners down there. We don't, yeah. we don't have any Hartford. Connecticut. You're bringing in. You're bringing in the New Year at McGooby's. Yeah. With who? I forget his name. Sick. Nobody that I care about. I forget. Yeah. I'd have to look at his name. Nice. Um, but yeah, Hershey. Baltimore, whatever. All right. Let's recap the episode, dude. Don't be a time slave to your girlfriend. Don't be a time slave. Matt Lauer's innocent. Matt's got a, a weird rash on his dick. It's getting uh, better. Matt glorified George Zimmerman. No, I did not. Matt said that women are complete retards. Did not. Damn, dude. You said some terrible no, things. I did not. Anyway. I said all the cool stuff about scissors and stuff. and fucking. Oh, yeah. Then you, Matt brought up female castration. <laughs> Sad thing. Yeah, terrible stuff. All right. All right, um, check Shane out at McGoobies. <laughs> I'll be at McGoobies talking about faggots, retards, and female castration. Circumcision. All right. All right. God bless. God bless. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit, I smoke is like collect.